Hello Zebrahood, welcome back to Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. In the last episode we made our way over to Cerulean City and we're able to check out Bill's house where he accidentally turned himself into a Pokemon and we fixed that as well, which is a good old problem solver. But the most important thing is that we got this cute little Bulbasaur. How exciting is that? Now, we're not quite done when it comes to catching Pokemon to exchange them for starters. You might have saw at the end of last episode or around then, we ran into a, a trainer with Charmander and the same deal, we need to catch 60 different Pokemon to be able to get that. So I will be working hard on trying to catch a set of different Pokemon this time and, oh, looks like Bulbasaur found something. Hi, what did he get? Caught something in the plants. It's a raspberry, good job, Charlotte. You're great, you're great. So one thing I do wanna worry about before then, of course, is that we still have to do the gym leader. That's sort of our biggest focus for now. It'll be the most sensical thing to do. So let's get started with that because it's really, I think, all we can do left in Cerulean City. So we'll get it started. We'll see how things go and hopefully everything will turn out a-okay. Might as well try to heal our Pokemon first. We're mainly just gonna be using Pikachu anyways because it is a water trainer and it's Pikachu, Eve can do tons of electric moves, just destroy them all without thinking. Which, you know, that's sort of what I think Eve the cat would do, which Pikachu is named after, so I think that's pretty fitting. Thanks for waiting, your Pokemon should be all better now. Yeah, I tried to name each Pokemon after the kitten that I think would most represent their personality. So like Eve is the smallest of the bunch and is so ridiculous and bounces off the walls. And then Lily is like the second smallest and is just really relaxed and cute and simple. And Charlotte is the third girl and she's the, you know, like the, the biggest, like tallest. And she's very just relaxed and fluffy. Show me a Pokemon of at least level 15 if you want to take on the gym. Well, I have a level 19. We're gonna wipe the floor with this place. Impressive, I see you have a Pokemon that is at least level 15. In that case, head on in and good luck. Well, thank you, I'm sure we'll do great. But I do want to check some things first. Would he have any advice? Let me give me give me some, some advice. The gym leader Misty is a pro who uses Water type Pokemon. You can drain all their water with Grass type moves, or you might use Electric type moves and zap them. Yep, both of those are things I could do, especially now that we have Bulbasaur. So can I go against you? I can. Awesome. That's sort of my main goal right now is just to go against each trainer just for some extra progress with experience. Appearing in a glamorous flash, my Pokemon will totally stomp you. We'll have to see about that. Okay, so what are you gonna have? I'm guessing they're all gonna have water type Pokemon. So we got Beauty Lily. So now Goldie, yeah, this'll probably be pretty easy. I'm gonna save most of my Zippy Zap move to take on Misty just in case we need to. But for right now, let's fight and do Thundershock. Come on, oh, you actually get started with a quick attack, which I wasn't expecting but obviously type advantage wise, it's not gonna really do too much to us, but boom, one hit takedown. That was very nice and we get some good experience for that hopefully. How many Pokemon did you have? You might have had one more. 102, not bad for that experience. Charlotte grew to level 14, I am so proud. Wants to learn to move Poison Powder, but we'll have to forget a move. Let's forget another move, let's check out what she has again. She had Tackle and Growl, so let's just go ahead and put it over Tackle, we don't need it. One, two, and ta-da! Charlotte forgot Tackle and Charlotte learned Poison Powder. Charlotte wants to learn the move Sleep Powder. Uh, should we do both Poison Powder and Sleep Powder over Growl? Sure, for now we'll do it. We might change it up later. One, two, and ta-da. Charlotte forgot Growl, and Charlotte learned Sleep Powder. Awesome. All right, we defeated Beauty Lily. Blub, blub. <laughs> Whatever that's supposed to mean. Okay, so we got you taken down, and over this way we have another diver lady. The beauty, apparently. Hmm, me? I'm a beautiful girl who lo who glides on the water. Wouldn't she be, like, wouldn't it be more descriptive if they said that she was a swimmer, or a diver, more than just a beauty? Beauty Violet? I mean, you know, beauty is an eye of the beholder kind of thing, but she's definitely like a swimmer, and beyond that, you know, I feel like it defines her more than her looks because that's important, it's about what you do. Anyways, let's go ahead and do Thundershock. The opposing shelter used, oh, was that ice? Ooh, it was. Or no, you Thundershock. Probably take you out in one hit because you were also level 16. Easy peasy, that was your first time going against a shelter before, or at least in this game. That was pretty cool too, I like it. Man, the Pokemon all look so cool in this game. Like even if they are very familiar Pokemon, I just feel like they look really nice in this game. It makes it feel fresh and I can't wait because apparently next year a new Pokemon game will be coming out. There's supposed to be a whole new generation. And I really can't wait to see what some of the newer Pokemon look like. Did you see that dive just now? Don't you think it's deserving of a gold medal? And you should go through the Olympics. 
That'd be pretty cool, right? You were challenged by Beauty Daisy. Beauty Daisy sent out Seal. Oh, another new Pokemon for us to check out. Look at you, you are so cool. Go on, Eli, now you can do it. So this should be pretty easy as well. Hopefully we can actually attack first this time. No, we cannot. I used Aqua Jet, whoa. Maybe we could get, hopefully soon we can get some items for our Pokemon. If we could get Quick Claw for Pikachu, that'd be nice. Wow, you actually holding on a little bit better. Oh, you're paralyzed. This is the first time we paralyzed somebody with Eve. I love the background of this area, by the way. Like the, the glass, like the stained glass in the background, super cool looking. So let's do another Thundershock. Oh, they were able to still do their Aqua Jet. So we might have to use some potions on Eve before we move over to Misty, but that's fine. Nice. It's super effective. That's it, I knew you could do it. The opposing Seal fainted. 103 experience, almost a level up. It looks like that's about it. Beauty Daisy, your Pokemon totally deserve a gold medal. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. So yeah, before we move on to Misty herself, let's go to our bag where we have plenty of potions. Oh, wrong thing, wrong thing, hold on. Move back, go to our medicine pocket, go just use a potion, use this item on Eve, and then we're gonna use another one just to make sure that she's at full. I mean, we're probably gonna end up using the Zippy Zap and just take everything out in one hit anyways, but let's get to it. Hopefully this all turns out well. Hi, you're a new face. What's your policy on Pokemon? What's your approach? My policy for Brattle is an all out offensive with water type Pokemon. Misty, the world famous beauty, is your host. My sweet Pokemon already. Are you? I sure hope so. So do you have a, what's it called, a Togepi? Like, no, that, that's a gen two Pokemon, so you wanna have that, would you? You're challenged by Gym Leader Misty. Jim Leader Misty sent out Psyduck. So we caught a Psyduck last episode, that's pretty cool to see. Go on, Eve, I know you can do it. What's cool is you can really see the scale between the Pokemon and the trainers, which isn't something you see in every Pokemon game, so that's pretty cool here. So let's go ahead and just immediately hit you with that Zippy Zap. It should be really good. Come on, boom! Sorry, Psyduck. It's super effective, that's it, I knew you could do it. A critical hit, the opposing Psyduck fainted. Wow, we. so there's the first Pokemon down. How many more do you have left to go? 114 experience, it can be level 19 or level 20. Level 20 for Eve, wow, we. the first big 2-0. Okay, hopefully many more to come of those. Jim Leader Misty is about to send out Starmie. We are not gonna change our Pokemon, we're gonna keep battling. Jim Leader Misty sent out Starmie. Whoa, that looks so pretty. So let's fight, and once again, zip to the zap. Come on, Pikachu, you can do it. Eve, you got it. Super effective, that's it, I knew you could do it. Now, not, not enough to take him down though, you're gonna use Psy Wave. Ooh, ooh, that hurt. I was gonna do another Zippy Zap just to be absolutely sure this gets it. Come on, boom. Okay, so we got you. It's super effective. That's it, I knew you could do it, a critical hit. So there we go, we have defeated Gym Leader Misty without too much of an issue. We got 346 experience, and looks like Lily grew to level 19. Awesome, Oddish grew to level 18, and Oddish wants to learn to move Razor Leaf. Yes, we should probably forget to move for Razor Leaf, that sounds interesting. So Razor Leaf is a 55 power, 95% accuracy. Sharp edged leaves are launched to slash at the opposing Pokemon. Critical hits land more easily. Okay. I think I like that more than like, user scatters a cloud of numbing powder that paralyzes a target. I think we'll just put it over this. One, two, and ta-da! I forgot poison powder and learned Razor Leaf. Pretty cool. You beat Gym Leader Misty! Wow, you're too much. We got $3,000 for winning this one. All right, you can have a Cascade badge to show that you beat me. Awesome, so we get ourselves our second badge in the game. It is a Cascade badge from Misty. A Cascade bad ma badge makes Pokemon at the level 30 from other trainers listen to you. And you can also have my favorite TM. You got TM29 Scald from Misty. You put a TM29 in your TM case. TM29 teaches Pokemon to move Scald. The move Scald. Use it on a Pokemon that lives in the water. Hmm, interesting. What else do you have to say? TM29 teaches Pokemon to the move Scald. Use them, okay. So, hey Pikachu, what do you got to say about that? You are so happy. Eve is gazing happily at your sparkling new gym badge. <laughs> All right, let's give you a pet. 
Yeah. <laughs> all right. How awesome is that? We've defeated all three of the trainers and the gym leader herself. You beat Misty. Great job. The splashes of your battle came all the way over here. Hope they didn't get you too wet. How awesome is that? I'm so happy. Man, we made some fan pro fantastic progress around here. So if there's anything else I wanna do, I think it's going to be trying to catch some extra Pokemon and see how fast we can get to that 60. I mean, I don't know if I wanna spend the entire episode catching more and more. Welcome to the Pokemon Center. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? Yes. But we can at least make progress. I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds then. Well, I wanna explore around and really see what's going on. All right, awesome. I know we have some Team Rocket members to beat up. Thanks for waiting. Your Pokemon should be all better now. We hope to see you again. I hope to see you again as well. Okay, so let's move out this way. And we're gonna go around. And I guess we'll go to that house that's blocked off if it's open now. I don't know if it is. Oh, it is. Hey, give me back my Pokeball. What's happening? The Squirtle took a Pokeball? Squirtle! Oh gosh. How could it do such a thing? I need to keep an eye on this house. Get back here. Oh, well, I guess we can go into the house now. Should we catch up with her? Where did she go? Huh, what an odd circumstance. Let's just go ahead and go into the house. Maybe we can worry about that later. I don't know if we can actually help her or not, but we can do something here. So let's go in and find out what that is. Oh, wow, this house has been really destroyed. Pika? Pika. Are you gonna be a detective? Detective Eve? Hmm. With a giant footsteps, like some kind of Pokemon made this. I think you're figuring it out. Oh, the berry. I think he, I think the Eve is just hungry. Ah. Okay. Well, let's figure out what's going on. Look at what Team Rocket have done to my house. And they stole my TM, the one that can teach Pokemon like Mankey and Sandshrew the move Dig. Ooh, Mankey and Sandshrew, huh? We have a Sandshrew, but I really need Mankey. Team Rocket must be trying to dig their way into something no good. That's for sure. Can we check anything else out? Maybe I could like look at the footsteps myself. Oh, I can look at Bulbasaur. Charlotte looks interested in the footprints left on the floor. They aren't yours, are they? Maybe a little too too big for you. Okay. Oh, hey, here's a Team Rocket member. Hey, stay out, it's not your yard. Huh, me? I'm an innocent bystander, don't you believe me? Well, before you even give me the chance to answer, you're attacking me, so I'm gonna guess that you're not. You're challenged by Team Rocket Grunt. Oh, great. All right, Team Rocket Grunt sent out Raticate. Nice, so this is uh, who Raticate's gonna eventually evolve into, but for right now, let's take you out. I mean, eventually, I probably should change Pikachu out for somebody else now. Maybe Charlotte would be good. Let's just try Zippy Zap for now. I don't know what's good against Raticate. What's good against normal types? Psychic, I guess. I, I always forget, every single time. Critical hit, the opposing Raticate fainted. I'll see ya. It was easy enough, so I'm not too worried. 216 experience is very nice. Pidgey to level 18. Wowee. Team Rocket Grunt defeated. Stop, I give up, I'll leave quietly. I mean, if you're yelling, you're not leaving all that quietly, but you should still leave. Definitely leave. What, Pidgey's evolving. Okay, so it finally happened after 18 levels we get ourselves a Pidgey evolution. I've already talked about what it could be, but what could it be? I don't know. It is, or maybe it is just over to Pidgeotto. I thought that it was Pidgey, Pidgeot, and Pidgeotto. I, am I wrong? I swear that's how it was. Huh, weird. Pidgeotto's data will be added to the Pokedex. Hey, I mean, I don't mind, but weird. Okay, this Pokemon is full of vitality. It constantly flies around its large territory in search of prey. It's a very large bird. Pretty cool too. Glad to have gotten that. I don't know if there's any other evolutions for Pidgeotto, so I might just change it out. Okay, I'll return the TM I stole. Oh, recover TM 10 dig. Can I, can I give it all back to the old guy? I better get moving, bye. So he's gonna run away, he's in an awful mood now. Run back this way, I wanna see if I can't get that back. Are they not here? Okay, no they are. Oh, you treat my TM? Thank you very much. You can keep that though. I've decided to take my time training Diglett and have them learn dig that way. Okay, Team Rocket must be trying to dig their way into something no good. Nice pun. Okay, so, wait, can I take that raspberry? I mean, your house is already stolen from. Maybe I could get some extra berries as well. Let me find out. 
Because, like, Pikachu looked at it as if we could. No, we can't. Okay. Oh, what's wrong? Uh-oh. Trying to look somewhat worried. It's okay. We'll figure it out. Don't you worry. So, let's actually switch out Moo Pokemon, Charlotte with Eve. That should work out pretty well. And then we'll go to our bag, go to the Pokemon box, and then who should we switch out Pidgeotto for? I think we should do, oh, there's so many options. We can do a Geodude. You do want to be so bad. Level nine Geodude dent right down this way. So we will add the party over Pidgeotto and hopefully that'll work out A-OK. -okay. And we also have to check out the store to see what new things might be available. That'll be cool. Like lots of stuff to do now. So episode will be full, plenty of action, I'm sure. So what's going on on this other side of the, no, that's not what I meant to do, dang it. Okay, well, if I've done that, I might as well run this way and take up the shop. I was just sort of looking around. I wasn't trying to hop down just yet. So let's take a look at the Mart, the Poke Mart, and maybe things will be good. Hello, welcome, may I help you? I'm here to buy. So you have potions, super potion. We, we should probably buy a couple super potions. We'll buy four of them. Man, money goes by really fast so far. Okay, so we have repels, lures, was that it? I guess it was really just a super potion. Not really too much more beyond that. All right, well, I'll leave everything else for now. And we will go back over there again. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. We still don't have this move. We still can't chop down a tree. I really hope we can learn that soon. I thought that we would have by now, but I guess not. Oh, I'm still going the wrong way because I'm such a dingus all the time. Come on now. I do like our shoes though. Our shoes are pretty cool. So get up this way. Go all the way back over to the house. Still haven't found the lady, the, like the police officer who got her Pokeball stolen. I don't think we're supposed to run into her anymore. Okay, going through this way. And go to the right this time. Don't go down because we already know there's nothing over there. Little bench though. Can't sit on it though. Okay, so now there's like two directions to go. Should I check my map on which one's better? I don't know. Actually, I will. We're gonna go to our bag, because I feel like there have been a couple areas I've sort of missed out on. And I wanna make sure if we can remedy that, because I never went up here. I don't know if I can, oh, that's Victory Road. Okay, so I'm not supposed to go up here just yet anyway, so I skipped out on that, and that's fine. We're going right here to Diglett's Cave. No, no, no we're not. I thought it was over that way. We're right here for right now, our Cerulean City, so I can't really zoom in because we've gone up to Bill's house. There's Route 9, and then there's Route 5, which leads to Saffron City, then Rock Tunnel. We'll try this out and see what ends up happening. It might just loop around, because we're back in front of the town now. Oh, we're in front of here. Trainer tips, if you press the B button when a Pokemon is in the middle of evolving, you can make it stop. But why would I want to do that? I don't know. So what is going on with all of this? There's a Pokeball here. We found a Burn Heal. That'll be good for when our Pokemon are burnt. And what's going on this way? Route five, so this is gonna lead to the one town. Okay, I don't know if this is really what I wanna do at the moment. There is a house, though. Let's check out the house. Hmm. Oh, hello. Hey there, the name's Mr. Hyper. Listen closely now, my young friend. If you ever achieve the title of champion, be sure to come back here and see me, I'll be waiting. The title of champion. I am the daycare lady. I look after and raise the Pokemon of trainers who leave them here with me. Now then, what would you like to do? Okay, we can drop off a Pokemon. Please choose the Pokemon you'd like me to raise for you. Oh, none of these. I mean, I could like throw in like Oddish or something, but I think what I'll do is I'll get a Pikachu, not our Pikachu, but another Pikachu, and get that trained up. That way we can sort of come back and not have to worry about leveling it up ourselves, because I think that's what happens here. So we're going to add to our party, put it over the level nine Geodude, and then get Le Geodude back in here afterwards. Okay, got it. So back out of here. I run the Pokemon Daycare. I know. Please choose a Pokemon you'd like to, for me to raise for you. It will be this level six Pikachu. All right, then I'll take good care of Pikachu. Yay, good luck, Pikachu. Be sure to come back after some time has passed. So I think over time, Pikachu will sort of level up and stuff, which will be pretty cool. Okay, so I need to go back to the Poke Box if I want to add the Geodude again. Let's do that right here. So the level nine, which is right here. Got it, add the party, right there. 
Cool stuff, so we're making some pretty good progress if you ask me. I don't know if you are, but hey, I don't know, so I had to make sure. <laughs> Anyways, I'm being weird. I wanna go back the other way, because I'm curious, like maybe it's blocked off. Oh, hey, it's lying. We found three nanab berries. But the nanab berries in the catching pocket. Oh, hey, what's up? Oh, hey, zebra. Seems like we can't pass through the cage here. Oh, so we can't go south. But the underground path should take us to Vermilion City. It's a bit dark and spooky, though. Huh? Hold still for one sec, Zebra. Whoa, whoa, a little too close, a little too close. Personal boundaries, man. What, did you mess with our hair? I was wondering what that sparkly thing was that was stuck in your hair. You, you see the revive from Lion. Oh, okay. The revive in our medicine pocket. Revives can heal Pokemon that have been knocked out in battle. I have a few extra, so here, take some of mine too. I already have a couple, but okay. Receive two revives from Lion. You put the revives in your medicine pocket. Maybe those will help you when you take on the next gym. Huh? Are those SS tickets you have? Here, take one. You gave Lion one of your SS tickets. Hey, are you sure I can have this? You know I'm definitely going, right? Where'd you get this anyway? Eh, you got it from the talking Pokemon? Oh, what? Oh, it was a person after all? Well, I guess that's good to hear. Hey, just uh, forget about the whole thing, okay? I think I'll press on ahead, see you there. So I guess that's how we get to Vermilion City. So I guess we can't go south either. Which makes me extra curious if we go the other way. Underground path from Cerulean City to Vermilion City. So let me check the map one more time. I'm a little curious then. Go to our bag. Go to our map. This is Saffron City, Lavender Town, Rock Tunnel. Where is Vermilion City? Celadon City. Vermilion City's way down here. Interesting. So I guess we're sort of skipping one for now. Okay, well, for now I don't have to worry about it too much. Oh, if I go down that way, we got some Rotatas, and more importantly, we got a Pokeball. I guess I'll go ahead and get that. Might as well, right? If we run into some Pokemon, I do need to start catching some if I want to get 60 Pokemon. Okay, so Route 5. So we'll sort of, whoa, whoa, I missed out on it, it was Nabra. Dang, I was there for just a second. I was in the middle of jumping too. Wow, that was cool. Okay, let's run into the Rattata. Oh, there's a Jigglypuff. Oh my gosh, you gotta go get that. You can count a wild Rattata, get ready, and go. Great, okay, that was easy. Definitely is easy for these simpler Pokemon that you run into earlier in the game. Boom. So we call ourselves a Rattata. I couldn't care less right now. I just gotta keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. I gotta get that, that Jigglypuff. Got some extra experience to level up for Charlotte. How, how exciting. Level 15. Awesome. So with that being said, we're gonna keep moving. Rattata will be put away. And we're gonna, no, come on, you ran right into me. I'm trying to get to the Jigglypuff, dude. It's huge, you encountered a wild Rattata. Get ready. Boom. Oh, perfect timing from you. Whoop. Ha, <laughs> that was great. Okay, so. My, oh, I, I actually was not expecting that not to be caught whatsoever. Now, what? Over there? Why over there? Come on, come on. There we go, that's a little bit better. Come on, that was a great throw. It should be fine. Yeah, got it. All right, you caught a Rattata. And that's 92 experience, how cool is that? Geodude gets a level up, which is pretty good to see. Because we want to get him leveled up, because he gets two level ups. He's a Graveler and then some other thing. Combo too. Yeah, awesome. I mean, more Pokemon is more Pokemon. It doesn't seem like it's regardless of the type. Anyways, Jigglypuff, I gotta catch you. You're so adorable. I'm gonna be playing with you in Smash Brothers for sure. When that comes out next month. Oh, wow, you are all over the place, sir. Or madam, I'm not really sure. So we caught you, I might have to use a Great Ball, because you seem to be a little bit more challenging. Yeah, I'm gonna use a Great Ball before you run away. Bag. Because I can get more Great Balls, I probably should. That was okay, could have been better. Come on. Yeah, okay, I was actually not expecting that. But there we go, you caught a Jigglypuff. All right. 54 experience, less experience than the Rattata, which is weird. Speaking of Rattata, we get a level up. Rattata's turning into level 16, which is pretty awesome. 
Okay, so let's learn more about Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff's data will be added to the Pokedex. Uses its cute round eyes to enrapture its foe, it then sings a pleasing melody that lulls the foe to sleep. So it is a normal fairy type, balloon Pokemon. You tuck Jigglypuff away in your Pokemon box in your bag. Very cool, I like it. And it looks like there's no other Pokemon around for right now. Pretty cool area for Pokemon though. I wanna get that Abra. We got three more Great Balls, so I think we used two of them. That's pretty nice. And there's another Rattata. He just charged right at me. Okay, wow, Rattata. Actually, I should not use a Great Ball for you. I wanna catch you. You're level 14, which is pretty good. Okay, we got it. Oh, no, bad timing. Ready? Now. Dude, what? Wrong way. That was bad. What is wrong with me? I'm glad we have like tens of Pokeballs, like normal ones. We have like 60 or 70 of them, right? We have a little less. I don't know. How many do we have? We're about to find out. You almost got it. 70. No, I was right. Why over there? <laughs> now. Got it. Excellent throw. I like it. Okay, so for this one, that should definitely be a catch, and indeed it is. It is a higher level Pokemon, so it is a little bit difficult. I mean, level 15 isn't super high, but you know what I mean. All right, so we get two quick candies for that. I've never even seen that before. Get a lot of experience for it, which is very nice. Seems like all my Pokemon really benefit from it. Very nice indeed. You talked away Rotata. Okay. So there's another good Pokemon, or good couple more Pokemon caught. So what I might end up doing is running through that again, because I just really want more. Being quite selfish. I just really want to see if we can't. Like, there's a there's a Pidgey, not too exciting, of course. I'm gonna do it one more time and see if we can't. It's like a slide. Whee! <laughs> so we're here in Route 5. There's a Rattata who just runs right into you. Rattatas are just ruthless around here. Go for it. That's a great throw right there. Might be enough just to catch him right away, which would be great. I know in Pokemon Quest you can combine Pokemon or you can train Pokemon against each other to level up one specific Pokemon, and that can sometimes give you a Pokemon a lot of experience. I don't know if you can do that in this game. It'd be cool if you could. Because that would just be easier. Like I could level up my one Rattata to eradicate by just combining them all, you know, or like training them against each other. All right, you caught a Rattata. Not bad. Okay, so we got 51 experience for that one. Not as much, but it's enough for a level up for both Eve and Geodude. Eve greater level 21. Eve wants to learn Thunderbolt. That sounds like it could be good. So Thunderbolt is a 15 PP move. It has 90 power and 100 accuracy. A strong electric blast crashes down on the target. This may also leave the target with paralysis. So I think that's gonna be better than Thunder Shock. So I think that we're just going to... I think that, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and go over Thunder Shock. Cause it's just sort of that move, but better. One, two, and ta-da! He forgot Thunder Shock and learn Thunderbolt. It's weird that there's a space between Thunder and Shock, but not Thunderbolt. Geodude grew to level 11, which is not anything too special. Combo two. All right then. So, there's another Rattata and another Pidgey. I'm gonna hop down this one. I'm gonna wait around here. Oh, you little sneaky dude. He popped up in the same place again. I need to try that one more time and see if I can't just like land here. Whoa, whoa, Growlithe! Yeah, another new one! It's so cool seeing a new Pokemon and just chasing after it. Oh, you encountered a wild Growlithe! Okay, so I might have to use a, a Great Ball for this one. I'm gonna go ahead and throw a Raspberry at you and see if this lowers you at all. It does lower you to a yellow. So now that you're a yellow, I should be able to get the Great Ball, use this item, and now you're green. What it, why? Why, why, why? Perfect. No, not perfect. No, I didn't mean to throw it. Okay, whatever. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on. You almost got it. It's gonna be back to being orange. It's gonna go back to yellow. So it looks like that. Why that way? Why that way? <laughs> come on. Some people were saying it's Come on, it's not about where I'm throwing it, but how I flick it. So I've been trying to focus on that and it has not been any easier. There is a Pidgey that I don't care much about. I want another Growlithe. Growlithe, Growlithe, it's a tiny Growlithe as well. I need to have him. He looks so cool. It's tiny. Okay. There we go, and an excellent throw in the first try. Can we get it? Please, can we get it? Oh, you stinker. All right, you're gonna get some food. 
You're gonna get a raspberry. Use it. Yeah. Now, another excellent throw. I'm getting a little bit better at it, I hope. Oh, come on. That is so baloney. What more can I really do here? Oh, that was not an excellent, okay. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, oh, man, it's so tough. We got five left of these. Apparently it was not in the circle. I would beg to differ. Ah, oh, man, it's gonna run away soon. This is like my last chance. No, that was bad. That's not what I meant to do. Get ready. Now. Oof, not a good throw, but it was at least a throw. Come on, please. Oh my gosh, it's impossible. I don't have any of these left, you know. We got another good throw. It, it was a great, not an excellent. But apparently excellents don't matter right now. Yes, okay, we finally got out. There are a ton of attempts. We got the Growlithe. Very cool. 167 experience for that one, so Charlotte's gonna level up another time. Level 16. Very cool. Geodude's almost had another level up too. What? Charlotte's evolving already? Yes! Oh, that's so cool! Charlotte, you made such good progress. I'm so proud. Oh my gosh. So, from a Bulbasaur into an Ibisaur. How awesome is that? I am so very proud. Ivysaur's data will be added to the Pokedex. The bud on its back grows by drawing energy. It gives off an aroma when it's ready to bloom. How cool. Super glad about that. Growlithe's data will be added to the Pokedex. A Pokemon with a friendly nature, however, it will bark fiercely at anything invading its territory. You tuck Growlithe away in your Pokemon box in your bag. Gotcha. Okay, so that was fantastic. I was hoping I can run into that Abra one more time, but I may just have to wait until later. I wanna explore some other stuff for sure, and I wanna see how many Pokemon have we caught in total now. No, okay, wrong thing. Go into our bag, Pokemon box. We have gotten 40 Pokemon, so we would need another 20 to get Charmander, so that's gonna take a bit of work for sure. But in the meantime, what I could do, since we're only halfway through today's, I mean, I try to make it between like a half an hour to an hour, so. We're only just there now. I wanna to go to the east and see what was going on that way. So we went down south here, but there is a direction this way, which I'm guessing is going to be as equally blocked off. Yes, by right here, <laughs> Route 9. All right, well, I had to know, I was a little bit curious. So we could do a couple of things. I could get a lure out, or I could just try to get that Abra on my own. But if I were to do that, I would really like to have, I like to go to the Pokemart first because I wanna buy a whole bunch of more great balls. I think that'd just be a good idea. And if we're gonna do that, we might as well heal as well. But then we're just about really finished up with this area. We can start moving to Vermilion City, going to SSN or whatever. It sounds like it could be very cool. I just wanna take my time if I can, get some extra stuff. Okay, come on. And it's like, I don't know when's the next chance I'll actually be able to go and grab that Charmander. So if we could do that now, like, it would be great. So if I could spend the rest of today's episode just catching a bunch of Pokemon, I really wouldn't mind. We have to see you again. So there you go, everybody's healed up. Let me go get some extra great balls so that, you know, if we do run into some other rare Pokemon or that Abra, if he puts up a fight, we have plenty of great balls to work with, and that would be awesome. That should be right down this way. This would be so much easier and faster if we had the cut move to take down the trees, but don't know when we're supposed to get that. All right, so we have $16,000. That's, that's fine for a couple of great balls. We're gonna go ahead and buy like 20 of them. That should be pretty good. You want 20 great balls? That'll be $6,000. Wowee. Okay, oh, two premier balls as a bonus. You can, wow, okay. That's great, thank you. So, I don't think I want anything else from you. Can't believe, Ivysaur looks so cool. I love Ivysaur. There's gonna be a lot of work until Ivysaur becomes a Venusaur, but I can't wait to see it. Okay, so we gotta go all the way back around again, unless we wanna just stay to the left for now and catch some extra Pokemon this way, because there's plenty of patches of grass this way. I just don't think any of it has what I'm looking for, because remember, I'm also looking for a Mankey if I ever run into one. But for right now, hey, let's just focus on this. We got ourselves a Wild Spearow, and this should be real easy. I do not need a Great Ball for it. It's only level eight as well, so let's just do Pokeball. Use this item, and okay. Oh, that was a great throw, so 
Hopefully everything turns out okay. Come on, can we catch you right away? You bet we can. Awesome. All right, you caught a Spiro. And that's 55 experience, obviously not th that huge, but it's still good to get. We got three level ups out of it, so maybe it is pretty huge. Lithy grew to level 20, the big 2-0. Otters grew to level 19, and Geodude to level 12. That might be another level, or evolve evolution for Oddish soon, I don't know. Geodude wants to learn the move Stealth Rock. Should an old move be forgotten and replaced with Stealth Rock? Sure, let's learn about Stealth Rock. So, Stealth Rock is obviously a rock type move. The user lays a trap of levitating stones around the opposing team. The trap hurts the opposing Pokemon that switch into battle. Hmm. Okay. We also have Defense Curl. The user curls up to conceal weak spots and raises defense stat, sand attack, sand is hurled at the target's face, reducing the target's accuracy. Bide, the user endures attack for two turns, and then strikes back to cause double da the damage taken. Hmm. I think that we don't need it. Let's just, let's leave Stealth Rock. I don't think we need it. All right, well, we got Spiro, And that's it. Okay, so let's look around for more Pokemon. Oh, there's another Psyduck. Might as well catch you. If you're still around, yep, right here. Psyduck, how are you doing? We could use our first lore, I just don't know if it's really worthwhile. So, you are level 12, you're a bit tricky, but I think we could just catch you just fine. You're gonna do your little swat, and I'm just gonna throw this. Oh, it could've been better, timing was off. Come on. Yeah, it seems like once you catch your first type of a Pokemon, unless it's like really rare, it's usually easier to catch again after that, especially when it's a lower level compared to what you currently have. It just seems to get easier. Cause that definitely like was not as tough as the first Psyduck, right? 55 pounds, oh he was large too. That's a really heavy duck. <laughs> Anything else around you? <gasps> no way! No way! We gotta be able to catch you! No way! Bag, what do we got? We're gonna use a raspberry. Use it, throw it at you, use. And then bag, premier ball. A somewhat rare Pokeball that was made from commemorative, as a commemorative item to use to celebrate an event of some sort. Get ready. Well, I don't know if this is actually any better. It's still orange, so let's try a great ball instead. Will that make it orange to like yellow? Yes, it will, then that's my best chance. No, dang it, all right, I've already messed up. Oh gosh, now, no, <laughs> okay, come on, what was that throw? Don't do this to me now, game. Come on, he's gonna try to bite. Now, perfect, that was a great throw. Come on, Charmander, we can do it, we can do it. Yes, we got it. All right, you caught a Charmander. How exciting is that? The bonus multiplier, we get 1.8, so we only get 49 experience. But who cares, it was a Charmander! I can't believe it! I am so happy. Now we don't have to do all that stuff. I mean, we can still, Charmander's data will be added to the Pokedex. The flame at the tip of its tail makes a sound as it burns. You can only hear it in quiet places. Wow. Took Charmander away in the Pokemon box in your bag. So obviously, that's another main part of our team right there. So glad to finally get a fire type. Fire types are some of my favorites, so it's been a pain not finding one. I mean, we got Growlithe, so that's wrong. But I don't know, Growlithe doesn't have fire type moves right away, it usually seems. I'm just so glad we got ourselves a Charmander. Move Pokemon, well actually no. I just need to go ahead and, well, let's check your summary by the way, we didn't really do that. Wow, you look so cool. Okay, so Charmander, nature's gentle, wear route four, level meta's eight, characteristic capable of taking hits, wow, cool. More details, you have Scratch and Growl, so you don't even have any fire type moves at the moment, so it still might be good to get that Charmander from the other guy, but for now, things are looking really nice. Um, And I, I don't really know if we wanna to do too much from that. We can just appreciate you. See, so yeah, unfortunately, you do not have any things. Did it say you were 165 pounds? Okay, I have to check that. There's no way you're 165, okay, 16.5 pounds. There's a little period there I just didn't see. So we still have plenty more Pokemon to catch if we wanna get to that 60, which is something I think I wanna spend the rest of today's episode doing, because I honestly think catching Pokemon is really fun. And we did the main focus of today's episode really fast, which was getting the trainer done. Boom, what? Ah, oh, you know, I probably shouldn't be wasting as many great balls as I am right now. But you know what? Just catch this Spearow. Don't have to worry about it too much. Awesome. All right, caught, caught a Spearow. 
So 32 experience, it's a decent way to get some experience too. Just like, if you can't find any trainer battles around, just catch a bunch of Pokemon. It's just sort of a way to earn them up pretty well. Okay, so we got, <gasps> Mankey, Mankey, we are making everything work right now. This is perfect. Come on, I gotta catch you too. I'll even counter in the wild, Mankey. So you're already green, so no need to give you some food. Now, ho, 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 come on, come on. And caught, yes. So I wanted a Mankey, we finally got a Mankey. That is so cool. We're actually almost finished with our full team. So we got a mighty candy out of that, and then we got 73 experience in total. How cool is that? So I got it. Oh, I didn't even move Charmander into our team. I'm such a dingus. So we're gonna move around to Pokemon team right now. It's gonna be so cool. Mankey's data will be added to the Pokedex. An agile Pokemon that lives in trees. It angers easily and will not, hold on. Hesitate to attack anything. How cool is that? You are looking ready to go. You're like a little ninja monkey. So let's quit. And we are going to figure out our team a little bit because we almost have our team completed, the team I wanted. And there's another Mankey actually. Let's go ahead and capture you two. I'm gonna do this just so I can make sure that we have the best possible Mankey for the moment. All right, you're gonna slice and dice at me. Almost an excellent, a little bit too late. But still may be enough to capture you. No, not quite. Okay, so close, almost got it. No matter what, it's gonna be tough, because you're only level, I mean, you're level nine. But it's gonna be tough to level you up. But it'll be well worth it, I think. There we go. Okay, you caught a Mankey. Very cool. So that's another one, 54 experience for that one. Another Mighty Candy. We can level up for Radita and Geodude. Radita grew to level 17. Geodude grew to level 13. Okay, I am so glad right now. I am so very glad. So this one is a little less in weight and a little less in height. Don't know if the bad, a good thing or bad thing, I don't really know. You took Mankey away in your Pokemon box in your bag. So I did wanna check that out real fast. So before we do anything more, I think everything stays still when we have the menu open, which would be great. Uh, so we'll go to our Pokemon bag, go all the way down, go to Charmander. Oh, and I can send Pokemon's, Pokemon, Pokemon to Professor for whatever reason. I don't know why we'd wanna do that, but I'll keep it in mind. I'm going to add you to the party. You're gonna go over, I think for right now, Geodude? I mean, right, I think Oddish is the closest to evolving right now. Cause I wanna be able to evolve and catch them all, you know? And then Mankey, so we have a level eight and a level nine. But what is their moves? Let's check the summary. What moves do you have? More details. You have Leer, Scratch, Focus, Energy, and Taunt. And then you have nothing. More details, there we go. Leer, Scratch, Focus, Energy, and Taunt. So I guess whichever one we want, I'm gonna name it a male name, so maybe I'll just keep it the lower level one because it is a male still. Okay, add to our party. I wanna put that one over Geodude. Sorry, Geodude. Cause it goes, Geodude goes from Gravel to Gollum. But anyways, now that we've done that, we can back out of here. I can go to my party. I can, Lily, Oddish, Eve, Charmander needs to be renamed, so let's change your name. Charmander is going to be, let's move this over. Yeah, make it a capital, F-R-E-D. Fred, our first male kitten name, Fred. And then Mankey, alongside you now, very cool. Oh, okay, yeah, Mankey's, okay. I would actually like to have Fred, there we go. And then after that, uh, change your name, and your name will be C, O, B, Y. So we only have one Pokemon left to get, and with that one kitten left to get, I like it. Okay, we got some sand shoes running around. Let's go ahead and get another one. I wanna see if we can't hit that big 60 Pokemon. That'd be pretty good to me. Because at that rate, I know I'm doing pretty well for myself. That was a great throw. Getting a little, like sometimes I mess up with the throws really bad, but then the other times I do fantastic. Really hard to find out like really what I'm doing wrong or right. But I do wanna get that other Charmander because the Bulbasaur we got was really good. As far as I can tell, Fred already got a level up though. Very cool, level nine. Learn smoke screen. Uh, okay, I just want a fire move. All right, so we got a sand true. That's cool, I guess. So how many Pokemon do I have in total at this point? Hard to tell. Let's go ahead and find out together. Because we should have a lot. 
We have 47, so we still have a lot more to catch, though, is the problem. I mean, I don't wanna do any of this off camera, because I think a lot of you said, have already said you want me to do all the grindy parts on camera, too. So I'll keep it all in mind. Oh, good timing from that Raditz, though. Okay, that should be enough. It's a great ball. I really probably shouldn't even be using a great ball against a Raditz. Pokemon I already have caught, I should probably just be using normal Pokeballs. All right, you color Rattata. Yeah. Okay, 28 experience for that, really not that much. So, yeah. Just gonna skip all this, doesn't really matter too much. And there's another Mankey. Uh, you know what, I wanna go to the other area. I wanna go to the, oh, dude, you're chasing me down. <laughs> you are wild, you encountered a wild Mankey. I can't believe we ran just like into a Charmander in the wild, just randomly, not expecting it. How cool is that? I'm just so happy about it. Get ready, and then throw it. It was an okay throw. Don't know if this will be enough for Mankey. It was a yellow, after all. We might get lucky. Yeah, not getting lucky. So close, to almost got it. Now, what was that? I know you're gonna do a little strike here at any moment. There it is. Now, got it, that was a good throw. Come on. Okay, so we caught a Mankey. Not bad. So that's 48. 48 experience as well. <laughs> cool. A lot of coincidence. So we tucked Mankey away. And let's head up this way. I know that we don't have enough for that Charmander, but I'm working towards it, I promise. So we're back at Cerulean City. And from here, I'll have to go all the way around again. So I'm gonna do that real fast. Okay, so we're back here. I'm gonna try very specifically to go. Oh, look, there's a Pidgeotto. Cool, just hanging out. Head out a wild Pidgeotto. So these guys are a lot tougher to get, but that's fine with me. We'll just use a great ball. Bring it down to yellow, which yellow I think I can handle. No, that's way too far. Okay, go for an, oh, I had the perfect opportunity there. That And that time it didn't even work. Now, oh, that was okay, wasn't perfect. And, uh, nah, not quite. Okay, so close, we almost got it. Now, oh, the excellent, just barely got that one, that is very cool. And it was caught, so we got ourselves a Pidgeotto. I'm trying to move down this one pathway as specifically as I can, because I've noticed that the Abra has popped up at the same place twice, but only for a moment. But look at that, 178 experience, so both Charlotte, Fred, and Kobe got a level up there. Charlotte to level 17, Fred to level 10, and Kobe to level nine. All right. So, uh, there we go. Pidgeotto, put it away. So if we just move right down this way, I'm gonna hope for it, but it was like right around here is the problem. It wasn't on that final one. All right, well, we'll go for you instead. <laughs> so I wanted to talk about, oh, it's so cute, it's tiny. Um, I wanted to talk about, dang, why I named, you know, Charmander after Fred and Mankey after Kobe. Fred is always like the most chill out of all the kittens, is very timid, and I'm just like very cute, and I've always just, like Charmander is definitely like the most timid and cute out of the three starters in my opinion. And then Kobe is very rambunctious and runs around and makes a big ruckus all the time, so I think Mankey fits pretty well with that. 110 experience, so that's level up for Oddish, level 20, Eve, level 22, and Fred, level 11. I can't wait until Fred learns some fire type moves. I mean, we might actually switch out the next Charmander we get and make that Fred. It really just depends on which one's better. You touch Growl with the way in the Pokemon box in your bag. Okay, so I'm still looking around for that Abra. I would really like to find it. It was right here twice in a row. That can't be a coincidence, right? I mean, maybe we'll use the lore, but I don't know if I want to use those just yet. I, like, I don't know how hard they are to get. Anyways, stop wasting these because I'm actually almost out of Poke or Great Balls, so I can't believe I, I've earned through those so quickly. That was a good throw. But I did actually check with the guy. It wasn't 60 Pokemon, it was 50. So I might be able to get it sooner than we thought here. Like we're closing in, I'm probably gonna try to get like 54. I feel like that'll be a good balance of everything. 54 experience, that was, that's a weird coincidence. Last time I said 48 Pokemon, it, we were at 48 experience. That, that, that happened twice. Lily grew to tw level 21 and Kobe to level tw 10. So Kobe evolves as well. Mankey evolves into something, a different monkey. All right, Radita, see ya. Okay, so what else do we got around here? If I could just get lucky and run into the Abra, it'd be super cool. What's down here? Another Jigglypuff. Let me catch a Radita for right now, just make it quick. 
I'm just trying to look around and see what my options are. Okay, get ready. Oh, that was bad. That was a bad throw. But, still might get it. Come on, I'll have to find out. Yeah, okay, cool. I was actually expecting that not to be it. We got Rattata. Okay, so some quick experience. It also dropped an item, but I don't know what it was. I wasn't looking. I'm trying to get through this quick, because I don't want to spend too much time doing this, because I know it's very grindy. I'd like to avoid it if I can. Okay, any other Pokemon on this level before I hop down? Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, not happening. I'm gonna move down this way, and there are two more Raditas. We're gonna have an insane amount of Raditas at this point. I don't know with shinies in this game if they are shiny out in the wild, like out in the open, or do you have to enter a battle with them for them to be shown as a shiny? Dang it, that was a good throw, too. Now, okay, well, it was a little off, but it's fine. Come on, come on. Yeah, okay. We got a Raditza. It's getting pretty common at this point. 50 experience points for that, we got the successful catch. Fred is so close to another level up, just through all this catching over and over again. So, we'll catch one more and I'll check how much my total is. There's the Abra, not fair, not fair, come over here. Maybe if I run around real fast. There's no, no, what the heck? <laughs> Come on, I'm running, I'm going. Come on, get your cardio in, run, run, run. I can't believe it, I can't believe it just happened. The moment I jump off. Come on, go, 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 go. It has to still be there, right? I have two chances. Come on, no, yes, no! Are you serious? That's not fair. Ah, oh, I love this game, but it hates me. It doesn't hate me, it gave me a, a Charmander earlier in today's episode. It's just so ridiculous, I love it. Okay, so now, a great throw right there. I like it. Come on. Oh, wow, I can't believe you got out of that. Whenever I'm so sure, it ends up not happening. And whenever I'm like, oh, it's not gonna happen, it happens. Like this, it's not gonna happen here. Didn't even get any kind of thing in the circle. Oh, it was right that time. See? Okay. Now. Ooh, bad throw. Ah, oh, come on, that is so tough. Ooh, now. Oh, that was a really good throw right down the center. Because it's not even like, sometimes I'm pointing at the TV, sometimes I'm not. It's not about it being pointed at the TV, it's in the direction you flick it in like such a weird way. Because sometimes I think I'm like throwing it the most straight of straights and it works, and sometimes not. And you'll just fly to the left. There we go, finally got it though. So that's gonna be hopefully a decent like 50 experience or something, that'd be good. 101, not bad, and that's a level up for Fred. Awesome job, good job, Fred. All right, so got combo of four Raditas. I don't know why it compliments you on the, on the combo. Okay, so let me quickly pause the game. We're gonna go to our bag and see how many Pokemon we have caught so far. We've caught 55 of them. So in all theories, we should be good to get Charmander. Oh, there was another Abra popping up. I will get an Abra one day. It just might not be here, or I might have to come back later to save myself on some sanity, you know? So let's get back to it. The best way to get over, I think, is a way over this way. They just hop on. Maybe not. Do I have to walk around the long way? I think I do, okay. Well, we'll do that in the next episode. We'll be heading towards Vermilion City, maybe even getting on SSN, depending on how far of a trip that really is. But I am happy with our progress today. We caught two of the Pokemon I want permanently on my team, and I was able to defeat the gym leader without any problem whatsoever in like the first 10 minutes of the episode. So it's been a wild, wild ride, and I can't wait for it to continue next episode. But for right now, let's see if we can't catch or you know, receive a second Charmander that may be even better than the one we currently have, and if so, we'll switch it out. Okay, so we're at Route 24 now, and we should be right over this way. Hi, I have plenty of Pokemon, so you should be able to accept this, right? I'm not good at raising Pokemon. I feel sorry for my Charmander because it's not getting stronger, so I wanna give it to a better trainer. Are you interested? Yeah, okay. The number of Pokemon you've caught is 53, cool. I want you to have this Charmander. Will you take it? Yes. Take good care of my Charmander. You got Charmander. Awesome. Okay, so we got Charmander here. Fire Pokemon, 16.3 pounds, one foot, 10 inches. 
You talk Char Charmander away. So this is, I wanna, I wanna double check that before I know. How's Charmander doing? Pretty good. I mean, I don't know, you, I just took him five seconds ago. Pokemon box, I want to, here's Fred, he is level 12 and he doesn't have any fire type moves. Down this way, level 14, check the summary of you. You are so cool looking. More details, you do have Ember already. And there's like different stats as well. I don't know if that really matters for me. I mean, you have a relaxed nature and alerts to, alert to sounds. I think that we will, we'll switch you over so that this is just Charmander and then that's Fred. Okay, okay, so change name. Okay, no, it just goes to Fred again. Okay, so I'll, I'll move this back as Charmander. All right, so there we go. I am so pleased by that. That was super awesome. We have a clothing trunk? Change now for, for Eve? We, can we do that? Do you have any sports cap? Oh, you're adorable. I didn't know we could do this. Sportswear. You are adorable. Look at this, we're matching. <laughs> if, I could, if me and Eve the cat could wear the same clothes, we totally would. So it looks like I don't have anything for myself. Man, that is so funny. All right, well now we have a matching Pikachu with everything else. How cool is that? But for now, I think that's gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. If you watch this part of the video, make sure you comment Misty Zebra Sunny and watch at the end of it. You are a Zebra-tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing and doing the Zebra Herd out of the way. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.